It's Twitter time! Alright, in this tutorial we're going to go through the basics of uh, in-app tweet. And uh, this is kind of a lot nicer when you got iOS 5. Be previously, basically all the social media in-app stuff was very difficult. You had to API it in and do all this additional coding. But now with the iOS 5 and Xcode 4, we can do it actually pretty simply. So I'm going to show you on the screen. You can click the tweet button and we should be prompted with a uh, little text box here shows you how many characters you have left and it looks like we already put his initial text in here so that's kinda cool to see so let's dig into uh, actually integrating that into a new application so what we're gonna do is start with a single view application and load that in there we're just gonna call it Twitter toot um, universal these three options selected are fine so we're gonna click next and move in go ahead and save it wherever you'd like and once we get into the the actual building here we're gonna go over to the building phases to start because like I said they've integrated the Twitter framework um, into the iOS 5 and so we're actually gonna pull that into our project that we're gonna be working in so go to your build phase just make sure you've clicked uh, this up here their Twitter toot um, which gives you the summary the project summary and stuff go to building phases here and then we'll go to link binary with libraries. Now in this case we've only got three libraries, so we're gonna add the Twitter. So you can search for Twitter, there it is, and just simply click add. Now you can see the framework also jumped into our project over here, so that's where it's gonna be uh, stored. So I'm gonna go ahead and file that with the other frameworks and uh, make it look a little bit cleaner there. All right, so now we're gonna go to our iPad storyboard. And again, we're just designing iPad. You could do an iPhone as well. And we've got our storyboard. So we're going to first double click on our storyboard here. Select your storyboard and change the background color just so the button pops off the screen. Then go down to the objects on the right hand side. Find your round rectangular button. And this is going to be our tweet button. Put it somewhere on the page. Now, um, in this case, I'm going to pull up my my side by side editor, and I'm just going to hook up our action here. So basically, it's going to say whenever this button is clicked, we want to do such and such with the code that we set up behind the scenes. So this name, um, let's just name this tweet button, and the rest of these defaulted are good, set to uh, what we need. So go ahead and connect our IB action. And just so, I don't know if I said it, but uh, hold control, click and drag to set up your action. So if you're unfamiliar with that, hold control. All right, so now we're going to jump into our view controller.h. I'm going to go back to the standalone editor here. Gives ourselves a little bit more room. And the first thing that we're going to do is import the Twitter framework. So it's going to be Twitter slash Twitter.h. And we are set to go on that front there. So now we'll jump into our viewcontroller.m. And because of the way we set up our action, where we control, drag, clicked, it does a few things for us that we don't have to uh, actually insert. Like this IB action here. This was uh, self embedded from the way that we set up our action. So it's already got our action established. Now we just have to tell the, uh, the action what it's supposed to do once it's been clicked. So in this case, similar to like an in-app email or anything that we have to use a different framework that maybe some of the devices don't have the capabilities for, we have to write a simple if-else statement to say if the device has the capability to, let's say, send a tweet, um, that would be, you know, as long as they had a, a Twitter account hooked up to it or a, a message, um, I'm sorry, or an internet connection to the device, um, then it would be proved to be true so it would it would go through but if it didn't have one of those two scenarios hooked up to it or didn't have the capabilities to send a tweet we want to say do this send them an alert and say no you we, we actually can't send a tweet so sorry alright so we're gonna start off the if statement with a condition of asking the tweet composer Tweet Compose View Controller if it can send a tweet. So it's already filling that in for us. 
and then we're going to go ahead and open that up. All right. And so now we're going to simply write in tweets, composer view controller. We're going to set up the variable name as, we'll say, whoa, whoa, tweet composer is equal to square two square brackets tweet compose view controller alloc and one one of the square brackets and then in it and follow that up with the square brackets so then go to the, your next line and we're going to put uh, start off with square brackets tweet composer set initial text so this is where I put uh, simple string and wrote dot 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 my bring back so anytime they click the tweet button we're gonna set the initial text to this this could be anything you'd like um, in this case we're just gonna put that for now and it with square brackets and then go on to the next line there where we're gonna set up self present modal view controller it's gonna be set to our tweet composer and then as far as the animated, we're gonna simply write yes. All right, so that's all for the if. So basically it's saying, if we can send the text, we wanna set up this, we wanna go ahead and set up a tweet composer. We wanna compose this tweet with a, uh, a view controller that's gonna pop up in front of people. When that pops up, we're gonna set the initial text to dot, 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 my bring back. And then uh, we basically set this to be animated so it pulls up on the screen very nicely all right so, all right so the last thing that we're gonna do is interject the else statement so basically if the device can't send the tweets we want to send an alert message to the user and let them know that they they've encountered an error check it out I don't know something like that so we're gonna set our name to alert view equals to equal to UI alert view, Alec. Sorry, this is taking forever here. All right, and then we're gonna set uh, initiate with title. Title being something like error. And then we've got uh, a message. So we can set up a message such as, uh, this is gonna be another string, unable to send tweet. Delegates, in this case, it's just going to be self, cancel button, title. Um, we're just going to put OK. So then click OK and then fix or diagnose the problem that they've got. And then other button titles, we're going to take out and just leave at nil. Scroll down so you can see that. So we're just going to leave it at nil there. Followed up with a square bracket and a semicolon <clears throat> to complete this area here. And that should be it with the else minus one thing here. We forgot to put the alert view show. So once you've got that all written in there, let's go ahead and run the application. All right, so once you've got your application launched and running in front of you, go ahead and click the tweet button. So in this case, we have the alert view that showed up. So this is the else part of the statement that shows that we're unable to send a tweet. Now in this case, it's pretty easy to fix. If you go back to your home screen here, now it's nothing with the coding you wrote or anything like that. It's actually with the settings. We haven't set up a Twitter account on our simulator here. So if you go to settings, you'll see Twitter. You click in there, and uh, this is where you're gonna write. Okay, so you've got everything hooked up a password username go ahead and click sign in it's gonna validate verify make sure you're connected to the internet obviously and then uh, it gives you a few options to allow these apps to access this account for your Twitter application and that's fine <clears throat> so go ahead and click home we're gonna flip back over to the tutorial we're in and then we're gonna click the tweet button again and there we go we've got a tweet on screen and as you can see the initial text is dot 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 my bring back and we're just gonna put something in here, make sure it goes to the internet and works with Twitter. Almost giveaway.
time. Okay, click send, and that should have gone straight to your Twitter account. So that wasn't like a test or anything like that. So now uh, let's go to Twitter and make sure it actually posted. All right, so if you go to the Twitter account where you posted it, you'll see 29 seconds ago we posted almost giveaway time, my bring back. So that is kind of the basics to the Twitter integra integration, how easy it is to pull that framework in and set up a button so you guys can tweet within your application. It makes it really nice to share stuff within and maybe high scores for games and all that stuff. So, all right, we'll catch you guys later.